Hey everyone, I'm Sebastian. I'm Dawn. This is Dawn. She's, uh, she's trying to make some dough between the phantom bar and her legs. Always has to comment on something I'm doing at the beginning of the video. <laughs> you know, all of we get the one, stop playing with your toes habit, you know? What kind of cookies you making with that? Always oatmeal raisin. Mm -hmm, great. It's my favorite. So we're going to cover modifications of barbell hip thrusters today. Um, uh, yeah, we are locally world famous. We'll, mm. we'll, we'll mention that. Locally world famous. Jingle. Locally world famous you in gotta, Orange County. Got in Orange County. You got to stick it at the beginning of all of them. So if, if, it, if it irritates you, just fast forward 20 seconds. And we go. <laughs> so we're going to go through uh, barbell hip thruster modifications associated with low back pain. Low back pain is um, something that's really common in, in with lifters and there's just no need for it. Just complete BS. And so let us show you how to modify it um, as well as um, we'll give you other suggestions of things to do throughout this video too. And so this is going to be our phantom bar. Um, let's just do this. Cool. So, by the way, you should subscribe to the channel. So how are you going to set up there? I'll be right here. Oh, you're going to go from the ground? Okay, we can do that. So, perfect. All right, so scooch, scooch the trips made that. Uh, no, that's actually a modification uh, that I, I give sometimes. We can we can do this. Okay. I'm sure people do because the the bar is uh, sorry the the plate is big enough to where it, it, you can slide around mm -hmm. from it. So go ahead and show me a hip thruster. Good. And down. And up. And down. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do to to help out with Don is I'm going to get her to really engage the glutes better. Um, I am looking at a couple different things like her fingers and her hands are kind of weak on the bar, which can be a little bit of an issue. Um, but we're really going to dial in the glutes first, and so we encourage you guys to do this with us. And so I want you to go ahead and stay at the top for me. And so what I want to see is a nice line from the knees, through the hips, through the shoulders, and I want you to go higher. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Push down. Push down with the hands. Grab the bar. Pull it down. Push it up. Pull it down. Push it up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Slowly go down. Slowly go down. Down, 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 down. And up again. Come on. Quick. Good. Up. 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 Jesus. <laughs> and slow on the way down. Good. And relax. So hard without a bar. Woo. Just working on tension. So if she, if she really contracts hard at the top with her butt cheeks, a lot of times that spares the back uh, doing so much work because um, show them one that, that is kind of really backy. There you go. So she's got her rib boobs right here poking up. She's kind of getting the belly pulling out and stuff. So that's a little bit um, of awkward. I mean, I feel awkward just watching this. <laughs> so this is that's option one. Just drive in a good pattern. You can do it from the floor. Cool. What do you got? Um. Let's see here. Can I take away the barbell? Sure. I want to take away the barbell. This is a little. It can. I mean, I don't know if I would consider it a regression or more of, hey, let's just see if we can get the core involved a little bit more. I'm going to just take the dumbbell since it's right here. Go on your back for me. Okay. So a lot of times with what he was saying at the very um, end there is you get really archy in the low back, okay? So if we want to engage core and glutes more and take the stress off of the low back, I'm going to put this on your belly. Actually, let's go this way with it. Oh, you picked the harder way. There you go. Pull it into you. So if he pulls the it's like, dumbbell... It's like those, what do they call it? You sit on your sword, the samurai honorable death? <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to pull the dumbbell into him here, okay? And if he doesn't engage his core, he's going to squish his own guts, okay? But when the core is turned on, you see less of that archiness in the low back here, and then really squeeze at the top, top, top. Good. And he's keeping it pulled into him the entire time. You're not losing that tension at all. So, you know, I got a question on this is because a lot of times when people do hurt their back with a hip thruster, they're like, they got a lot of weight on them. Don, I want to put, do some weight though. You got me down to 15 pounds? What the hell? How do I get a booty? Do we, you can use more weight. Oh, on here? Okay. Yeah, you can use more weight if you want to. <laughs> you guys can put whatever. I just grabbed that dumbbell just because it was right here and it was easy to grab. But the thing is too, is the more we do this, if we do this correctly, you're going to get that booty. If you're doing this for booty reasons, you're going to do it. We have to make sure you're doing it safely and actually engaging the booty, not the low back muscles in the first place, but you can put whatever weight on that belly you want to. Yeah. Does you, that answer you your question? Go more to fatigue. Yeah, that answers. Okay. The, um, obviously we're not functioning as uh, trainers with this, but um, for the time being, if the barbell hip thruster is the problem, um, 
sometimes just going back into patterning it before you actually load it. So in theory too, you could do like, you know, 20 reps of, of put 40 pounds on it and then just rep them out and all of a sudden go back to the barbell and just do the reps that you were and the weight that you were and all of a sudden, hey, that feels better. So sometimes just doing a patterning thing prior is a good thing. Cool. Okay, that's option two. Awesome. Option three, huh? Okay. Here. Let's go here then. Let's go from there. Okay, let's turn this a little bit. Okay. So that's really good with camera angles. Yeah, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time camera -ing. Okay, show me how you're doing it. Let's see what you got here. Okay, so this is already, so I already, already, already see something going on. It, it's, I guess this, the thing, well, we'll do two things. <laughs> I know you're trying to, you're trying to bait me into something. <laughs> she's got this rib boot you're thing. You're doing whatever you want. She's doing this rib boot thing again. Okay, here, I did this this morning with somebody. I think it was really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so bend the bar. Good. Now we're gonna play peekaboo. Peekaboo. Okay. Look at me every time you go down. Good. Go again. Do you want me to keep my eyes on you? No, nope, just keep going up. Okay. Yeah, you can peekaboo is up and down. Oh. Good. So that brings her down as a unit versus just do it badly again. So that now she's always looking up, and so she's like bending and kind of breaking and challenging her spine right there, getting a lot of low back <laughs> extension. It just pisses it off. So we could just play peekaboo. Hey, I wonder who's on the other side of the room over there. I wonder what's on the ceiling. Hey, that guy's over there picking up too much weight for himself. <laughs> so you could do something like that. Um, that would be a change of pattern versus change of, of anything else. And you can probably keep the same amount of weight with that. Cool. Do you have anything else? I was going to say we could just cover, I think in the beginning I stumped you a little bit because if you're using a bench like this and doing a barbell, one of the regressions or ways that you can help is just going to the floor and doing it too. So hey, You can change the range. Yeah. Um, how about a band around the knees? We can do that too. That's, I'm sure people have seen this a lot. Um, you entertain them while I leave. <laughs> so we're going to do the, we'll do the band around the knee. Oh, you're doing this too. This is mine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, me work out. I had someone do this actually the other day with, uh, I just put the weight on their belly and went from here. Um, we didn't do a barbell, but just they couldn't do any more than, I mean, they break this thing pretty hard and create tension. It was, it was enough. Yeah, so this one is more just how can we create more tension in your booty. So you're going to try to break this band apart. Some of you may have a thick one like this or maybe even thinner ones. It doesn't really matter. The ultimate purpose is to just try to get that, those knees out wide in both directions. You can go barbell. You can go dumbbell into the belly, whatever you want, but try to go through those movements while keeping this out wide. Okay. All right, so, right, so peekaboo. Oh, <laughs> there you are. So annoying. <laughs> so you can take any of these cues that we've been working with, you guys, and any, whether it be from a bench, from the floor, you can take all of them or one of them. Just play with all of these to see if any of them help mitigate that low back pain that you're feeling with this. But ultimately, you should be feeling... A tremendous amount of effort in your glutes with this movement, sometimes in the belly too. If you're feeling low back pain, you are not doing it correctly, try some of these modifications. Yeah. Um, again, if you have questions about what is act exactly causing back pain, uh, we have other types of videos. Again, go to our channel. There's a little red button somewhere in the corner. Um, just hit it, subscribe, and it just there's a search bar that comes up and just put in low back pain with lifting or whatever. There's, we have a bunch of videos on things. Um, if you want something specific though, you can work with us if you want. We're in Orange County. Uh, that's California, not Florida. I think we have oranges in both. There's both places that have oranges. That's yeah. why we. Anyways, you can come see us. Um, we do. Uh, we do have telehealth as well. So if you need some help virtually, we can do that too. Um, and we have a bunch of uh, digital guides too. Um, if you're not ready to pay us, that's okay. Uh, we have free stuff too. We have a little gift for you. So it's down in the description or it's up in the corner. Uh, as we kind of always say, like it's the there, there's no substitute for hands-on, um, but everybody's kind of a different place in life, and if they only got 20 bucks, we got something to help you. So, and these ones are free. Get those wherever they're at. <laughs> so, anyways, um, did I miss anything? I think we hit everything. Okay. If you have questions, guys, reach out to us. Call us, email us. We'd love to brainstorm with you um, on what type of guidance you're looking for. Um, maybe different types of modifications if these ones didn't work, things to discuss your symptoms. We'd love to chat. We're here to help you guys. That's why we make these videos. So don't hesitate to reach out.